This proves that we're still in the universe. We're not moving or anything. And the entire universe moves around us because we're so fucking special that we have to sit exactly still because I can't tell a difference in the stars in the sky. Okay, that I just want you to grasp that real quick, that he's holding a toy and he's saying that this trumps scientific evidence. Just let that sink in a little bit. What up, heathens? How you doing? Tonight we're going to be looking at some flat earth shit. It's going to be some bullshit. How you doing? It's going to be a lot of that flat earth bullshit too. Do not expect any kind of rational discourse to be happening tonight uh, on this stream. Other, uh, uh, you know, coming from the video. Of course, I'm going to be irrational as fuck. Just so, just so you guys know. I mean, if you you, you want to comment, hey, GE, you're rational as fuck. Don't, don't fret. I will agree with you. So we got some flat earth bullshit that's coming up here in just a minute. Uh, Y'all don't forget to check out Mythicist Milwaukee. We got a debate coming up in about a month. Uh, between uh, Bart Ehrman and uh, Robert Price. It's going to be exciting. I'm going to be up there in, in Milwaukee. I'm going to drive my ass all the way up there. That's about a 10-hour drive, too. So, you know, um, kind of irrational to wear sunglasses at night inside. It is not irrational. It, you know, you need... I don't know if you guys have watched H3 Productions on YouTube, but they, they sometimes wear uh, welding shields on their faces to, to shield themselves from the stupidity. That's, that's what they do. And that's what I'm doing this tonight. So here I go. All right, we got a sky. I'm so glad that we still have a sky. Somehow this sky is going to prove, without a doubt, 100%. You can take it to the bank that the earth is flat. Let's see how 100% true the flat earth is. Does he have like a, a like a, 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 a freezer going on or something? I have no idea. That is some loud background noise though. It is officially 12.05 p.m. Central Time. Holy shit. The earth is flat. Oh, wait, no, I jumped the gun. And the sun is right there. Boy, hadn't your mama told you never look directly in the sun? I don't care if you're pointing a camera and you're looking through the lens. You don't point, You don't look directly at the sun, you dumb son of a bitch. The sun is right there. Okay. And. All right. What? Is that okay? I have no fucking idea. I see two trees, I see some clouds, and I see a clear sky. I don't even know what the fuck he's talking about. Oh, look, the sky is there, must be flat. Why is that there? Why I have no the... idea. I have no idea why the sky is there. So it must be God and the earth is flat. Just saying. Oh, still there. What, what does that one guy say? <laughs> clouds! Clouds! Make the earth flat! Clouds! Clouds! Make the earth flat! Clear as day. Clear. Right there. Clear as day must be flat. Close by the sun. Close by the sun. Yes. Alright, alright, so we got a sun and we got a sky. Now, this video is almost over. This first one here, I don't, I don't see any proof yet. You be the judge. I don't know what the fuck was just proven. Like, let's go back a little bit. By the sun. You be the judge. Clear as day. Right there. Close by the sun. Wait. I Why is that there? Why is the moon still there? Oh! Okay, the moon is there. All right, I missed it. It was way back when. I have no fucking idea. <laughs> he's showing the moon? Oh, see, I didn't even know. Like, I couldn't even tell because he's just, I can't see the moon in this. Like, I don't see the moon anywhere in this, but apparently it's there to him. Okay, so uh, I've actually found other videos that have said, you know, well, hey, look, there's a sun over here and there, then there's a moon over there. That must mean that the world's flat. That is a dumb as fuck argument if I've ever heard one for a flat earth. Now, 
if uh, you guys don't know, there are lunar cycles, right? You've got the, the one that looks just like a sliver, and, you know, and then you got a full moon, and then you got, like, a new moon, which it means that there's no fucking moon out there, right? Well, guess the fuck what? The moon has to be somewhere. If the moon is partially covered up, I can guarantee you that the other side of the world where the sun is shining has the moon in it. God damn, use your brain a little bit. The earth is round. Okay, it's a globe. Well, it's kind of the roundest pear thingy or what the fuck ever Neil deGrasse whatever says. But <laughs> Neil deGrasse Tyson, I'm not that big of an idiot. The sun is shining on the earth and part of it hits the moon that is not being shown to the other side of the world. It is literally that simple. I don't know, I don't know how else to dictate dictate that to somebody of such intelligence, but I mean I'm from Alabama. This is simple shit right here. Like even to, even to Alabamian, this is simple fucking shit. All right, this next video is going to prove to us that we are the center of the universe, that the everything moves around us, okay? Like we're not we're not moving through the universe and we're definitely not fucking spinning and shit. Okay, we have here a um, space map. All right. Something I collected some time ago. Okay. And uh, the way this thing works is you um, line it up this way, which is upside down to the writing on it. But you have the um, the months of the year. Oh, this motherfucker, folks. And you have the. Uh, um, alignments for the stars and you adjust this according to the day of that particular month if you were outside at night and you want to look at a certain constellation and know the name of it all right and yeah, this thing cool. seems to work very well um, the only problem with this is uh -oh. it shouldn't work if we're flying through space on a globe following a sun that's flying away through space we shouldn't be able to correctly align these stars year by year well, holy fuck, he just disproved science everywhere. He, I mean, he, he has just, in the few seconds, he has disproven everything we know about astrophysics, about how planets move, about the origins of everything in the world. I mean, holy shit, people. This is groundbreaking stuff. So this really debunks an Earth that's moving and points more to a stationary world where things are... Um, repeatable, where seasons repeat and where the constellations repeat themselves accurately year by year. Um, Excuse me, sir, but exactly how dumb as fuck are you? I mean, on a, on a, on a scale from a rock to, to Peter Griffin, would you say you're closer to the rock at this point and Peter Griffin is a fucking genius compared to you? I mean, seriously, if you don't understand that the Earth moving through the universe along with every fucking thing else <laughs> moving through the universe is going to result in, of course, eventual mucking of the stars and the star maps and shit. I mean, but, you know, <laughs> if I remember correctly, in Stargate... It, it exactly explains this, okay? There is a cosmological, like, drift of stars, right? We're all moving through the universe. We're all going at, uh, you know, the same speed. So that's why it, it's not like the Earth is moving faster, you know, than, than the other planets around it, I don't think. I don't know. Don't quote me on that. Anyways, so you can calculate, right? Comment, in, comment below if I'm fucking wrong about that shit. Um... Because I don't like being wrong, but the Earth and everything else is moving through the universe. We're going, uh, we're going really fucking fast, okay? And uh, you know, of course, at some point, those stars are either going to burn out. We're not going to see their light. Like they're going to burn out, and then a few million years later, we're not going to be able to see the light anymore. Of course, but the fact that you think <laughs> that we're basically like a Ferrari driving on some kind of highway and that we shouldn't be able to see these stars after just a short amount of time is is fucking phenomenal to me like of course that map is going to need to be updated that's why they fucking update the maps and they reissue the shit <laughs> you, you know this couldn't exist if we were flying away through space and also if the stars we're flying away at billions of miles per hour from the Big Bang Theory that they talk about so much. If all these stars were <clears throat> flying off in all different directions, 
and moving away, this chart would be totally useless. Okay. But you can use it from year to year. Yeah. Yeah, that's because, you know, at, at the vast distances that we're actually traveling and how fast we're traveling and everything like that, we can actually use that for a few years there, like, you know, probably decades. I, I mean, it's not like th these things move, uh, like, uh, relative to the Earth. It's not like they're moving all that fast. The life that we're seeing now from a lot of stars is tens of thousands, if not millions and millions of years old, okay? So, guarantee you, the actual star are fucking elsewhere we're just seeing the light i don't i don't even know what i'm trying to explain this yeah over here i have another little example uh, oh shit he's breaking out the models now oh, try to get this in view fairly decently here do you not know how to work a camera oh god damn you couldn't cut this shit out this one does exactly the same thing um it has this uh okay just to answer some questions right in, in the comments right now who needs gravity brian that's right casey uh no gravity does not exist in his in his particular area in his particular universe that shit don't exist apparently what i was talking about was right at but i said it wrong that's just my own dumb fuck thing. I understand how the shit works. Uh, I'm, I'm not exactly that well learned on the subject to actually teach it to other people. So I just, I really should have looked up shit instead of, you know, sleeping or something. So he's got a globe here and he's about to prove how we're stationary in the universe. Dome. <laughs> Interesting. It has a dome. How about that? It looks like a toy. And uh, it will do exactly the same thing. Turn it on, it's got a little light. It lights everything up. You can see the stars. But the, um, the problem with both of these, how, how do they work from year to year? If we're moving through space at unimaginable speeds, following the sun that's going to who knows where, all of these stars should not align in the same places as they do year by year. Why? <laughs> like, like, why? You haven't proven to me how uh, how you can tell that these things are moving at different speeds. They're so vastly different than the Earth that it would cause them to go out of line quicker than what they already do go out of alignment. But yet, we, we can see this um, with these little models. Hey, guys, do you think that's like a, 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 a proto-Death Star and like that's just the plans on how to blow it up? You gotta aim for the port, Luke! They work just fine, and it, should, it shouldn't be that way. Not if the Earth is flying away. So I believe this really proves that the Earth is stationary. No, it, it's, not sta it's, not, it's not stationary. We're, we're fucking, we're moving through the, the, through the universe at, at a set speed. And um, we're only going faster. I know that much. Like, collectively, we're going faster. We're accelerating a lot faster through the universe. I remember that much. We're, we're getting faster. The whole universe is getting faster. We're, we're just about to, to, to go crazy. And Bobby Kennedy in the comments section right there, the title satire. Come on, man. And then everything overhead is moving around us. Year after year, month after month, things is moving. And we're standing still. How would you explain this away? I mean, the North Star is always located in the same place on the model. And I've never seen the North Star move as many times as I've looked at the North Star. It's always appeared in the same place. You know why it's appeared in the same goddamn... <clears throat> Alright, so as the Earth revolves around the Sun, there is changes, right? But it's not changes that you can detect with the naked eye, okay? So, um, yeah, I, 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 don't, I don't know what to say, dude. Uh, at this point, you're, you're, you're worse than a rock. Like, I think a rock is, is a little bit smarter than you are. So I think even a rock would be like, man, motherfucker, I don't even know what you're saying. Tide goes in, tide goes out. Can't explain that, motherfucker. <laughs> so here's another piece of uh, information no. that people should be debating about why this is possible. We shouldn't see this if we're leaving on All right. This right here is a magic wand. It, I mean, 
I never see anything come out of it. I never see anything communicate. But when I hit a button, my TV comes on. You can't explain that. Okay, well, it's not coming on right now. But, I mean, you get what I'm saying. Uh, the, the argument's basically the same. He's saying that, well, you know, I can't see a change in the North Star. I can't see a change in, in the stars and whatnot. Which isn't exactly true. I don't know if you guys have really noticed, but if you go out at various times during the year and you try to look for, say, oh, I don't know, Big Fucking Dipper or Orion or any of them constellations, it's really easy. Like, some of those weird-ass constellations like Leo, the ones that look like somebody was just like, yeah, that group of stars, I'm just gonna draw fucking lines everywhere, and hey, look, it's a lion! Uh, that's how it seems that, that they come up with the names. But anyways... So if you actually go outside and you try to find them, you will find them in different spots of the sky at different times of the year. That's why you have, you know, that little spinny thing where you can denote where, you know, because because it's got where the fucking shit is at, at any certain time. I mean, Charles Drake, how does he reconcile this with days getting longer and shorter? I think you're giving this guy too much credit. This guy is literally holding a toy and lighting it up with the pin light and saying, look, this proves that we're still in the universe. We're not moving or anything. And the entire universe moves around us because we're so fucking special that we have to sit exactly still because I can't tell a difference in the stars in the sky. Okay, the, the, I just want you to grasp that real quick, that he's holding a toy and he's saying that this trumps scientific evidence. Just let that sink in a little bit. By all that's flying away, we should be asking more questions. We should let... We, we don't need to be asking no more of your questions. I'm just saying. I think Neil deGrasse Tyson would uh, slap you with his necktie if, if he hurt you asking this shit. Then get, get away with uh, telling us the things that they're teaching now. That just doesn't make sense. So this is my little experiment for today. And I thought I would present this since I had these things available. I'll let you have a look. Wait, you have these things available? You mean you went to Dollar Tree and you picked up a toy and decided, I'm going to make me a video and disprove science. This one even has a, uh, I can show it here, it has a little compass. It's pretty technical. It, it comes with a compass so you can... Actually, uh, if you don't know where the North Star is, you can di uh, generally find a direction using the compass and then realign it. But anyway, I thought I'd offer this little piece of information. Again, warning, this is not information. Uh, this is not an experiment. This is not science in any kind of sense. If anything, this is very bad storytelling. And uh, I think that we are all now just a little bit dumber having listened to your bullshit. And let anybody consider it that wants to think about it. Who knows? So have a good day. And that's all she wrote. That's all he's got. Y'all have a good day. I'm going to go out here and do some more flat earth science. What we're going to do is we're going to get one of them helicopter thingies. We're going to put it on top of a car. And then the car is going to drive off and the helicopters are going to fly straight in the air. Now, if you're wondering, well, what the fuck does that prove? Other than that the helicopters can fly and the, the car can actually provide enough power to project itself in one direction. Nope, that proves that we don't move, that we don't spin. We don't do anything in this world. We just sort of sit here on this fucking rock and don't do shit. Shit. Okay, that's all that proves. It proves that the Earth does not spin because a moving vehicle and an aircraft lifted up off of it. Never mind the fact that the air to, to, for that to actually be accurate to the Earth, that an aircraft would have to be so fucking big that it would probably cover the entire span of North America in or in order for it to just fucking fly off the Earth like that. Never mind any of that scientific shit. We're working off pseudoscience here. <laughs> Uh, I'll see you guys later. Y'all have a nice night and um, stay heathen-y. Something. I don't know. Y'all go do something. Something fun. <laughs>